Okay, I'm just gonna use the bathroom, then I'll be good to go. I don't know if you hear it, but... I guess I got there we go. All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome hey. to the stream here today. Right. I got a tuxedo on. <laughs> All right, so yep, we're live. Everybody should be listening right now. So it looks like we already got a, a good bunch on. Uh, so we're gonna yeah, spend a little bit of time here talking about the the matchups that we have going on uh, this evening for. Round three, game sevens. I got two big games on the the slate today. Uh, along with me here today uh, to talk to you, uh, one of my fellow commentators who will be helping to call the game later. I got Bolda, uh, Bolda one two three from from Moose Jaw. I want to say hi, everybody, Bolda. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, uh, we'll get him in here talking in a minute. Uh, we're also going to have uh, Pugs. There you there. Yo, yeah, well, I'm here. All right. So we got Boulder here to help comment. Uh, we're also going to have Pugs from Ustra as well. Uh, are we live? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then asking that was uh, Ginger from the Idaho Steelheads. Uh, so we got... Uh, we got one guest lined up, and we got a few other uh, written responses from guys who, uh, who weren't able to you know, be live on the, the broadcast, but wanted to contribute as well. And then we're going to go ahead and, and break down uh, the games before they start tonight. That's good. So, yeah, as I say, and then we're going to get lots of requests for other people to be on, I'm sure, while we're talking here, too, as, as everybody starts watching. Uh, we'll, we'll see if any, we get anybody else in. I uh, also don't want to distract anybody from their, their game settings as well. So, um, first on the docket, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, the big OHL matchup we have uh, between uh, Saginaw and Erie. Hold on, I gotta find that real quick. Is it not on the LG site? It it should be on there. Uh, so I have them up on oh, the screen yeah, here now know. too. So um, yeah. pulled both the image that uh, that we now generate out of the site and you know, the Twitch ready or, or the Twitter <coughs> ready image, and uh, you know kind of look at the teams and when we look at the the two lines that are out here tonight, um, you know definitely everything statistically is uh, blue 
uh, leaning towards uh, Saginaw at the moment. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of interesting as well as like they're they're playing a line that has done terribly, like the Otters are playing a line that's done terribly in the playoffs. And uh, no shade towards them, you know, they're all good players, but like, do you think this was the right decision? Do you think they should have gone with somebody who was hotter, maybe who performed better in this series, or do you think they should go with what they, what the best players were in the regular season? I mean, I, I think uh, you know, this is when I've had to you know, make these calls. You just got to go through your trust. You know, not necessarily who's been able to to score the most or to, um, or even you know, necessarily picked up the most wins. But you got to go with who you, you you trust in that situation. It's a um, it can be a high pressure situation in Game Seven. You know, it's, it's either you shine or you or you fall, and um, you know it's it's just a, it's hard to make that call. Yeah, but I, this is going to be a good uh, good game. It it's definitely going to be a good game. I mean, when you look at the the rundown between the two teams, look at the the full team stats in the regular season. Um, Saginaw was definitely the the higher scoring one uh, group. Uh, but Erie had you know, one of the better defenses in the OHL, uh, only bested um, by the uh, Ice Dogs. So, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, nothing to sneeze at. It's going to be a close battle, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Erie's definitely got the advantage on the defense, and it's clearly evidence that uh, Saginaw's got the offense. In this matchup, uh, I know Alex Rowe. I've played with him a few times. Yeah, tends to he has some crazy goals. You know, he's pretty consistent at getting crazy goals. Yeah. Uh, that I could I, if it gets into crunch time. I don't know. It could, it, I think whoever scores first is going to win the game. To be honest, uh, I think that'll take a lot of pressure off either team. Okay, who do you have? Do you think in this game seven? Well, um, I say let's let's hold on for predictions for a minute here. Let's let's go ahead and bring in. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah, I know you're eager to jump, but we got time too. Um, so let's see. Uh, so we do have. Uh, we do have Pus God. Uh, I, I don't think that's not your LG name, is it? No, it's Doctor Dinks. Doctor Dinks. All right. He's, we got him in from uh, uh, from Erie here. Uh, so I do have a couple questions for you. Just want to ask real quick. So thanks for joining us, first of all. Yeah. Uh, but so just want to ask you a few things. You know, as we as we look at the matchup here, uh, mm -hmm. I, I've asked these. Uh, you know, somebody at Saginaw as well. We'll, we'll cover those. Uh, but uh, you know, how would you describe the series so far? I know you've been involved with them uh, yeah. at least a couple um, of games. So. It's been very tight. Um, we know Saginaw is all about high scoring. Um, they're winning games, they're putting pucks in the net, and they're doing it off. Um, so we've tried to limit that. And we've tried to play a close game. Throughout the regular season, we've excelled at close games. Um, so a few wins that we do have, three, uh, We've it's actually been really close games and not necessarily high scoring. Uh, the six goal, five goal games um, have been to Saginaw and they have won though. The two games that I have been in have all been come from behind wins so, uh, though, where we're down to, and, and we were able to just basically limit their scoring. Um, Saginaw is definitely intimidating with how many players they have. Uh, with 80 points, 70 points, um, even their CRs, you know, 1,900. These guys know how to play, obviously. Um, but our game is defense, and uh, our game is to win close games. Yeah, and I think that's definitely an evidence by you guys all season. And I know since I'm doing the OHL write-ups for the media team, I know I, I looked at that, and uh, the two interesting things that, that I noticed when looking at the stats were um, Saginaw's record in, and this is going into the series, so I haven't updated these since coming into the series. Uh, but uh, Saginaw's record in overtime games was ten and two, uh, which is 
which is pretty darn impressive. Uh, and then Erie had won uh, 23 one-goal games, so definitely very good at, and that includes the first two rounds of the playoffs, you know, definitely very good at at winning the tight games and be able to hold on to a lead. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I think, you know, for Erie to put this to bed, um, we just uh, four, four and it happens at our own pace. Um, and, not, not, you know, let things get out of hand. Uh, from playing against Segna, we know that, I mean, everything's on net. Uh, they have countless rebound goals in this game, countless uh, shots from the point that, you know, deflect it in or just get uh, right in front of the net and uh, someone just taps it in. So uh, we just need to limit them as much as possible. Um, I, I have noticed that when things aren't going in like that, there is a little bit of panic uh, near the ends of games for Segna. But our lineup tonight um, is all of our management are in the games. You know, we got Montley, DJ, uh, Jake, they're all management. Um, you're talking about the decision of how, you know, not necessarily we have players who've won the most games out tonight, but we have players who, you know, throughout the season have been just solid players. And uh, when it comes down to it, these are the guys that we can count on. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you mind if I hop in with a question? Go ahead. Uh, so are you saying that this is the first night that the Erie's audit line has played together this season in LG? No. Um, throughout okay. the season, throughout the season, actually, uh, we we haven't really had set line. There are a few lines that, you know, you've played with more so than others. But we have, I would say, all-around chemistry up front. Um, defensive pairing has been kind of consistent throughout the season. Um, but we could basically mix and match our forwards together. Um, last uh, round, I played with uh, Blackhawks uh, and Jake on the line for two games in a row. But um, it, it really doesn't matter kind of who the for forwards are. Uh, That's awesome. Wise, um, That's cool. Kind of... That's, uh, that's a good way to do it. You know, for these playoffs, you know, you come in and everybody's familiar with each other. It helps. With... Definitely. Yeah. All right. Second question I wanted to run by you here is, uh, you know, can you name one player from each team who stood out to you in this series and, and, you know, and why they stand out? That's you, Danks. He's, he's gone, I guess. All right. <laughs> yeah, we lost him somewhere there. Either he muted himself or. Hello. All right, there he is. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't hear you guys for a little bit there. All right, so, so I was just asking you a second question here. Uh, you know, it, it was there one player who stood out for each team, and and you know why in the series? I can't. I haven't really paid much attention on an individual player for Saginaw. Um, of who stood out. I mean, I, I went against a different line my two games. Um, both of those lines had two 80-point uh, winners who are not in this game. So I haven't gone against the line that they have tonight. Um, so I'm not really sure on their end an individual stands out. Uh, I'm not sure. I think there were, they had one line who did win two games against us um, in their both games. I'm not sure if this is that line or not. My line, or it was me, Snipes, and Snowtop. Uh, we we're the only line to have to win both games, and our line isn't playing tonight. But for a guy who stand out, uh, I, I would say it'd be our goalies, to be honest, and our defense. Um, both Toast and Beef had a great game. Uh, Beef, in particular, had a double overtime game with around. Uh, 28, 29 saves on like 30 something shots. Um, I think that game really helped propel us to this game seven right now. So I'm going to give a shout out to Beef for that. All right. I got one last question for you, then I'll, uh, I'll let you go uh, for this one. 
We saw the cover of the other series in a minute. I got a few responses from the other team. Uh, so what do you think will be the key to your team winning game seven tonight? You're kind of touching this, I think. Yeah, but. so these are going to be two things. It's either we play our game defensively, limit their scoring, and score at our own pace, or it's going to be to beat them at their own game and it's going to be high scoring. One of those two things. Yeah, I think it's going to be close no matter what. We'll get into predictions in a minute here. All right, thank you for joining us here, sir. Yep. Thanks, guys. Uh, yep, good luck to your team tonight. Thanks. Good luck, man. All right, from the other side, real quick, we'll we'll cover um, so at least uh, – Alex was able to reach out for me uh, to, to get some responses for que the same three questions uh, to ask. So uh, we got responses here from uh, Dick Abutkus. And uh, you know, he's not playing tonight either, but uh, given his feedback as well. So uh, he asked, you know, how would you describe the series so far? And he said, um, you know, it's basically been one of the tightest they've had in the playoffs. Um, he said the Otters are a really good team and it's going to. Uh, it would prove a lot if, if they were able to beat them tonight. Um, secondly, you know, asking if, uh, if he could name one player from each team who stood out in the series. Uh, he said pretty much the same thing that Dr. Danks just said. He, it was hard to, to pick out you know, people that, that really stood out. You know, Both teams are playing well together and showing a lot of chemistry. Um, he said specifically, uh, Aries has done a good job of uh, forcing good pressure on defense and uh, making it tough to work in their zone. Uh, then asking what he thought the, the key to the, uh, to the spirit winning tonight, I uh, said it'll be to, to take away Erie's lanes and keep the pressure on them, uh, get the tough pucks deep, and throw them on net. Uh, so you know, basically all those things that Dr. Dank said that Psychonaut does well and they don't want to see work against them. Yeah, <laughs> throwing the pucks on net and getting those rebounds, that's exactly what Psychonaut wants to do. Um, so with that guys, let's, let's take a uh, predictions here for tonight. What do you guys think in this game? I'll, I'll, I'll hold mine for last. <laughs> okay. I'll do, I'll do mine first. <clears throat> so, uh, I think Saginaw is probably one of the more defensive teams in the CHL and, um, you know, they can score too. So I'm going to say this game is going to be a, a two goal game difference, you know, Erie Otters, they haven't been pretty, like this line hasn't been performing much. So I'm going to say the Spirit 4 to 2 with uh, Electro QC uh, getting the game winning goal. And, you know, they say uh, Nick Knack, Tabernak, give a QC a bone. And I'm going to do that here and I'm going to say Saginaw. Yeah. Um, I'm on Saginaw too. I'm on Saginaw. Uh, I agree exactly with uh, that prediction. Forty-two sounds good, but uh, two two goal difference should be. It might be late. I don't know. Could I don't know. Be a good game to watch. I'm excited. That's for sure. But I got sagging off. How about you, Pugs? Uh, you know, I'm gonna be the bigger different here. I want to go with it with the Airy Otters. I think they're gonna. Uh, be uh, the underdog, and they have uh, a lot of fight in them. And I think they're gonna come out. Uh, it's not gonna be a two goal difference. It's gonna be a one goal difference, and I feel it's gonna be an OT. That's okay. my prediction. And yeah, I'm gonna split the difference here. I, I'm on that that same train of thought. Uh, I think it's gonna be a, a two one game, low scoring game, uh, going Erie's way, probably in overtime. Uh, I just, I, this is going to be a battle and, you know, I'm just with a game that's going to be this tight, I'm prone to pick defense. Uh, you know, I, I think that's going to make the difference here. Of course, at the same time, that's, that tends to be what the, or the way that the, the bounces go against the defense. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a good game. All right, let's bounce over to the other matchup for the evening. Let me just update my screen grabs there. All right, the other game going on in the WHL, which uh, most of us know very well. Uh, 
So unfortunately, we didn't get <laughs> yeah. anybody to uh, to join us from either of these teams. I know they're they're busy preparing for the night, so uh, you know I don't begrudge them that at all. Um, but you guys are probably more familiar with these two teams even than I am, Bolden and Pucks, because you guys would have played them more regularly during the season. I know we played them twice through or twice each during the season. Uh, we got a whole lot of Wheat Kings. We didn't see the uh, Hurricanes too much. <clears throat> I think we've seen uh, the Hurricanes uh, two times this season. And, uh, well, Brandon, we've seen on a weekly basis. So it's going to be, uh, yeah. yeah. Damn. It's, a, it's a tough matchup here. It's going to be, uh, in my opinion on this matchup, Brandon Wheat King, you know, they're a very strong team. They've been dominated all season. But in the playoffs here, the Left Bridge Hurricanes actually stepped up really hard and they've been doing really well in the playoffs. And uh, I really think uh, the, the Left Bridge does have it in them. Uh, granted, the Brandon Wheat Kings is pulling out that uh, jangle, which is uh, he's been rock solid this whole uh Playoffs, my two played against that line personally and uh, lost. I think, uh, but yeah, Boulder, what are you thinking on uh, this matchup? Well, I'm a little surprised with the actual line that uh, the Wee Kings are putting out. I think they're just going with the hot, the hot line. Uh, you know that Django line didn't lose to us last round. Uh, I actually got the privilege of trying to defend uh, Django, and there's a there's a reason why he's got 19 wins and only three losses. He's a he's a very good uh, right wing. I think he uses a two way build, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it is a good line, uh, but I I don't know. Just a little surprised that some of the names they have on their team that aren't in, you know. But that just goes to show how deep of a team they are. Why they would be able to knock off the Warriors. Ah, you know, every team has their greats. Uh, but let's, I want to bring it back here to the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes also have beaten some tough teams in the in the run here. Um, you know, to knock off the Medicine Hat and to knock off Regina Pats is not an easy task. Um, but personally, I've played both those. i played all these teams. And, uh, you know, Regina Pats is a very solid team for them to come out. Uh, you know, and beat the Pats. I would say kind of almost with ease, um, as in I know one game was overturned, so really, uh, and they actually lost that game, so I, in my opinion, it should be a 4-1 uh, win on the Hurricanes. Uh, but, you know, the Hurricanes did uh, kind of feed them a beatdown, and uh, to do so, it's, you know, it's a good uh, good warm-up against the Brandon. And to push Brian into Game Seven, you know that speaks lots. That is true. And with Lethbridge uh, beating Regina, they definitely know how to beat the trap uh, defense. You know, so Regina traps quite a bit, and uh, Lethbridge has been able to knock them out. So you know, I'd be surprised at, to watch what kind of schemes these teams bring out and uh, really uh, get a feel for. You know the just the game planning of the uh, management and how X's and O's stuff really might be the difference in this one. Yeah, yeah. I would say I, I, this I find this matchup very interesting just because um, with Lethbridge, of course, they were. I feel like at this point they're kind of defying expectations. You know, they had the really tight game in round one. This isn't their first game seven. Um, so you know, we've seen them there before, and they came through and. Yeah, you know, they played another team that went to a game seven in the second round with Regina there, uh, but you know they definitely. I don't know Regina just seemed to be a, a a good style fit for them. You know, Regina definitely has their own style, and it, it frustrated the heck out of uh, out of Red Deer. But Lethbridge was able to deal with it in the second round, and you know I honestly didn't expect this this series to go quite as long as it did. Uh, actually, when the Lethbridge went up early. I thought they might be able to close it out, and then uh, the Weekings have continued to fight back, and it's hard to say where the momentum is here right now. Yeah, and, and you know some of the some of the picks here for Game Seven. It reminds me of last season when it was a 
um, it was Mississauga versus uh, the Ice Dogs, and Jayhawk decided to play his line, and then Carlson as God didn't play. And everybody thought, you know, Jayhawk's playing uh, the Ice Dogs are going to win, but they actually upset. And it's weird, though, because, like, they're not running Rob QC here. He's had really, like, two really solid games against the Weakings, against, like, their top players. So, mm. I don't know. I, I, th- I think it's going to be uh, an upset. I think the Weakings are going to get frustrated early. Maybe maybe that could be a bounce or whatever, and I feel like this is going to be a bad season, and Lethbridge is going to win a close game 2-1. to one. That seems like a fair prediction. And Boulder Pugs, you guys want to chime in? Uh, prediction of the uh, actual score, I think it's going to be 4-1 uh, to one for the Hurricanes. I think I... You're right. I think they're frustrated, and the uh, I don't know the line that they're bringing out is going to be difficult. Four to one, Hurricanes. That was definitely a bold statement. Uh, yep. I'm going to come in and uh, I said it in the you know I'm going to stick to what I've been saying. And the whoever came out of the Wheat Kings and the Warrior series would have went on to the Mem Cup, and uh, I got the Wheat Kings winning five to three. Hmm. This game, it's either going to be a huge blow and the Weakings are going to win, like something like 8 1, 7 1, or it's going to be like 2 1, 1 nothing left bridge, something like that. In my opinion, it's either going to be a huge blow for the Weakings or a game for them. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> I, I really don't have a good sense of where this game is going to go yeah, myself. I, it's, it's hard to call anything here. If anything, I, I think we're going to see mass chaos and we're going to end up with like a, a six seven <laughs> game here um and if that's the case then you know, i would give the slight edge to the wheat kings uh on this one I, but it's i could see definitely a six seven game that could go either way you know it's like one of those last second goals you know whoever has the puck last kind of like a football shootout yeah it's gonna be fast paced yeah should yeah and you know, not to mention as well, PDM decided to play himself. You know, thirteen points in six games, two points a game, four and two. You think there, there, there might be a better player, but PDM's gone far in the playoffs. And like, I think last season he beat the Ice Dogs. I think he was on Jayhawks' line when they beat him. Yeah, he, he was. They beat yeah. him four one. So that's another factor is that PDM knows how to stay calm in those situations. So it is always critical in a game seven. Calmness is is really what's gonna take it. manufacturing goals with X and O's. Yep, making sure you're in the right spot and staying there the whole game. <laughs> or staying there when you need to, I should say. You know, like Boulder said, uh, you know, I Brown might, uh, yeah, like it could be really a t- So you, you guys might be right. It might be a blow as a seven to one win for the brand, and I'm just hoping, uh, hope the Hurricanes can help us out here <laughs> and uh, you know show show some love for the underdogs, right, boys? Uh, hopefully, they come out and uh, fight and fight hard. Yep. If Lethbridge gets up early, I can see him stealing this game. Yeah, frustrate the uh, Kings. But yeah. we we what we. Uh, a couple of the games in the series against the Wee Kings, you know, we would get out of the first period one to nothing. And uh, specifically this Django line, they ended up hanging like eight goals on us in the last two periods. So, you know, they, they, their ability to change, like they're like, they're a super triangle oriented team. And any time it sticks out of the uh, the position or, you know, you have a defenseman face it with their butt to the net, but they'll take advantage of it if he should be turned around the other way, like in a split second. Like, Mm -hmm. they have have insane chemistry, really, so. Well, you know, uh, all the the Weekings owners, they're all friends in real life, so. They, uh, They probably played a lot before LG and stuff like that. It definitely shows. Definitely shows they were a hard team in it to play against uh, on a weekly basis. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. All right. They are a good team. So. 
I'm going to start trying right. to get the streams up here. I know we already got one up for the Lethbridge game. Let me see here. I mean, it would be fun to see Lethbridge one, I think. Seeing seeing the weakens out, you know, Snipester check, uh, Sticky Fingers check, and all that. Just have the underdog make it. So, now, so since we have the live voice, are we watching the uh, games on the stream, on your stream, Greg, or are we going to tune into the live streams of the games? So, you can try watching them on my stream, but they're going to end up delayed, so you'll see yeah. something a little bit later. If, if you want to pull it up on your local device, it, it might be easier then to to see right. and keep the, keep the commentary in line with what's going on. Got it, I got it. Okay. There's the left bridge one up and rolling. Let me get the other one going here. Is that Astro NHL? Is that what that says? Yep. Yes. And I got pure dangles for the Saginaw up and have that out here in a sec. I don't think it matters okay. which stream if there's multiple ones. I like just whichever view you cool. get is good. Yeah. <laughs> Different streams might have different delays, though. I'm not quite That's sure. true, yeah. Oh, well. And got that one. And the other one is... Do we have that as well? Yeah, it's coming. It's just loading okay. up on my computer right now. So. I'd say we're just on the searching screens at the moment, so... <laughs> What is the stream again? Astro what? Uh, Astro NHL. Okay, thank you. While we're waiting, does any chat have any questions? Why not, right? Yeah. Interact with the boys. Baked, I need a response. Why are you not playing tonight? What's going on? Oh well. He says, I don't know. <laughs> there, there we go. Both up and running. So, uh, who's tuning into what games live? Because I'm on the Leftbridge branding game. I'm also on the Leftbridge. I guess it just depends when everything like happens, right? Like they're gonna start early versus Saginaw. They they haven't even matched yet, so. Oh, cool. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try to close a few things. Make sure we get the best streams as we can here. Greg, are you going to be saving this clip to your uh, broadcast? Yep, I have all my stuff saved, so it'll be there 14 days, and I do archive it to YouTube afterwards, so if anybody wants to go back and watch them, it's fine. Fuck <laughs> drop. Jeez, number 27 on Lethbridge looking jittery out there with the L2. He's feeling himself. That's PDM. I'm sure he's in the theater mode there too. There you go. Last bridge got the early cycle early. It's moving so far with the left bridge. Yep. See, that's what I'm saying. They're going to come out of attack. They're going to get. I think they're going to get. It's going to be a lucky bounce and. The are One thing get. the left bridge will have to make sure they do is uh, stay out of the box against this team. This team will make, make yeah, you hurt for yeah. every penalty you take. But now the weakings are set up here. Yeah. Oh, man, they blew it. <laughs> <laughs> they just. They got the jitters. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. 
while we wait for the stagnant area to match up, I'll make that one a little bit bigger for now. <laughs> so, uh, okay, you're doing that. Ooh, weekend's goal early. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, there's your first goal. I'll come a squeak between the uh Good breakout. Been good breakouts for both teams so far. Do we have audio in your um, oh, thing? Uh, I can bring it, turn it on, yeah. Sorry. I forgot oh, to. No, I just, they load uh, on muted, so yeah, sorry. I forgot to. So there's our. Eerie game getting started too. Eerie's sagging off. Oh, Tabernacle, Tabernacle. Yeah, I think that's him lagging. Uh, I it just wish. Just, like. Seeing a lot of yeah, well, just about the switch back up. Mention that. <laughs> nice Sorry, shot. I'm about the blue line being hard. aggressive against the aggressive offense. Check. So. Oh, zero zero. Yeah, still zero zero for Yuri and Saginaw. They're just five minutes in right now. Nice uh, tits. Good play. Watch the type here. Nobody's yep, really yep, getting yep, up yep, in yep. a good chance. Yep. It's all nice. Right. For sure. Okay. That first goal was a direct. I didn't catch it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. The, the first team kind of found the same. On that from Wee Kings. So far, yeah, the weak kings are closing that lane <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, I'm on that lefty, so I can't. The buddy do on, that. The buddy on. Again, they just uh, got a power play. It's went wild. Ooh. Oh, that was this. Very. Yeah. Big hit. Ooh, risky biscuit. One thing I do want to point out here, I see is uh. Come see, come see. On the left Come on wing position. <laughs> Is that the weekings? I didn't catch his audio. That that sounded like a Saginaw complaint there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like yeah, that's uh, that's Tits. left wing. I think uh, I was uh, back to what I was saying earlier. Rob, uh, he's dying on our team. Oh, dying. so tough. <laughs> Nice. Rob QC. Pick it up. That's a Fudge. Packers. Okay. Todd <laughs> Packer. Mm, no. no. It's an action. I, so I say I keep on mixing up their audio with ours. I might have Watch to re mute it. <laughs> Throw that back on. It's nice to hear the gameplay, but yeah, I don't want to be in on their strategy or anything else either. I keep losing track of if it's them talking or you guys talking, so we'll go back without it. <laughs> Just keep an eye on it. 
There's the end of the first, oh, though, for, for Lethbridge. Or, sorry, yeah, for Lethbridge and the Wheat Kings. Who we can see that J. Claus is up in their stream. <laughs> I always like seeing J. Claus hanging out in I'm the sorry. CHL just get or CHL playoff boxes. Getting signed. Playing the defense. Uh, audio's at least I'm audio. my listen oh. to you guys is a little bit slow here. The audio slow? Um yeah, let me just move. <clears throat> Alright, I think we'll be okay now. Maybe it's just the the Discord connection since it was in the background. Saginaw putting uh, Erie to work right now. Yeah. Big power play, seven seconds left. That better not come back to bite them. That's a pretty bad penalty to take. Yeah. I'm gonna get a tip shot though. Big block. Back to the Wheat Kings. So we're definitely having that lower scoring game shape up in that left bridge right now. Well, I think both of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Ooh, no, I can try to go 5 hole. Oh, that could be a 5 for left bridge. That would probably kill their game right there if that's a 5. Oh, no. It's a 2. Oh, they got lucky. Yeah. They got bailed out by the refs, man. They're lucky. <laughs> this is not what. <laughs> hey, your stream is definitely ahead there of mine. Well. Then I I just saw that penalty now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a little behind now. myself. Oh, maybe I should uh, just talk about Saginaw then. <laughs> if you have that one bigger, I don't know. Oh, that was a close one for Saginaw there. They almost snuck that one in. It sucks right now that the uh, streamer in the Saginaw game's in the box. I don't know if you're at that point yet. They're playing on four on four right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's always it's the, the best, best view in the house. The right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, big slap pass miss, though. Two on one, second off. Big D. Here it comes. Oh, last, Rich did a good job of killing that penalty. Yeah, I see both of these games. I'm noticing the teams are doing a very good job. Of, they're trying to use the points, but they're also closing the lanes when it does get out to the point, so they don't have much to do with it. Oh. Man, I was hoping for more on both games. I mean, eating my consistency of them is, is uh, more interesting than this right now. Oh. That's what happens in LG. You know, it starts out with a whole lot of teams and big trap game. It's very competitive league. You know, very little separate teams, you know. And the puck can drop, uh, balance any team's way at any given game, you know? Yeah. Games to be close. I'd rather, in, you know, in this game, set, I'd rather, I mean, whether it was high scoring or low scoring, I'd rather be close than a blowout. As a, at least as a watcher, yeah. <laughs> it's different when you're playing in them. Playing, I'd rather be low scoring, but. Yeah, playing I'd rather be low scoring and or yeah, get a lead. But a watching save it. there. <laughs> I think you're lagging out a bit. I'm not sure if that's just me or not. Me? Yeah, 
Maybe I'm pushing the system a little bit. At least the streams are going pretty smoothly. I wish we had a, a BPM encounter on all the players in Game 7. So I think that'd be pretty funny. Everybody sync up your uh, Fitbits. Especially as a goalie, so we come down on our breakaway. Rutherford did a very good job of beating that five-man trap, having that D-man take it all the way in and draw a penalty. That's one one for Erie. Yeah. That's a great play by that defenseman. Our scoring chance is in the game. Yeah, they just they had a nice breakaway that ended up with a point shot there. It is? I won't spoil it, but one of the one of the there's been a goal in one of the games. Lethbridge ties go. it up. Yep. Yep. Well done. Well done. Yep. Followed up with the ice stab. Yep. Time they drew that penalty, that's a power play goal in Lethbridge's favor, and they were able to kill. Momentum shift. Yeah, we keep trying to get sweaty there. Yeah, yeah. The nerves are the nerves are real. Here it comes. <laughs> so this is when this is when Brandon really throw. Well, this is where it's, it's going to come down, down to the defense and goalie on uh, Hurricanes. We need to stay calm. And uh, anything's they've possible. Got, yeah, they've got nothing to lose. We Kings have everything to lose. First seed, you know, talking so much trash all the time. A lot of AHL oh. just to win a mem. If they don't, all the pressure's on them. It's pretty much a wasted season if you think about it. Yeah. That was like, it as well, but uh, that's what we thought. And when we got them in the pressure situations, they were still able to uh, beat us out. You know, they... It's the third period, you know, it's going to come down to one of those lucky bounces, you know. They're yeah. clearly outplaying them, eight shots, two shots, low shots, game, and it's 1-1. You know, you got to think. Now it's only a 20-minute game, and it really comes down to who's going to be the best. Yeah. Now. Yeah, when well, arguably the, the one goal is by Lethbridge is the better goal because – uh, say the Wheat Kings goal there. Uh, the guy was just doing the replays of him. It bounced off a defender and then uh, the shot from the that point. Sucks. So. It's going to be a great uh, third period. It looks like it's shaping up to be a good Ooh. third period in the other game as well. Yeah, Alders Cooley with a big save on a guy that was just allowed to walk in like the door was open to an apartment he was about to rob. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that'll swing the moment. My heart back. says Lethbridge, but my mind says Weak Kings. Oh, here we go. Big chance. What a move. Oh. So, yeah, guys are doing good at staying in their spots there. They keep it's looking good. for the cross creases. They ain't getting them. It's going to be it. Oh. Sagging. Oh, is that Erie? Erie. Oh, Erie. Erie. Erie gets the first goal. Oh. Oh. oh, Erie scored. Okay. Here we go. Come on now, Sagan. Let me get my predictions right. Yeah, where's Garbage? <laughs> yeah, give me my 2-1 prediction there. <laughs> Come on, Alex. Big turn over the defensive end for the weekends. Very good That's play on Teal. Oh. Uh, Teal held on. Yeah, just a little bit too long there. Get a quick pass. That's British definitely playing a lot better than I bet most people thought they would. Well, I'm watching this game and I'm understanding, like, I'm watching. This offhanded guy at right wing because of his defensive uh, ability. He did a very good job of covering for two yeah. there. That was a very heads up play, clutch play, really. You know, it was a, would have been a tool, lone yellow to defend. Did a very good play there. So. 
big backboard. Yeah, yeah they're definitely like, keeping you know, lots of guys back. So, yeah, those uh, those shot passes and into the zone and and everything they're they're keeping away from them. These week, the Wee Kings are looking for some greasy stuff now. They know the pressure's on. They just want to get that goal. They don't care how they get it. Yep. Don't have to be pretty. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to think Lethbridge doing it, like trying to show off their skating ability with the L2 is maybe it's too much. You know, maybe they should just go for those rebound shots, those tip shots. Well, but the, the one thing time, I know, I know about there. Brandon. Yeah. Go what? ahead. You finish. <laughs> the one thing about Brandon, uh, and I've seen it all season long, um, they might have had a lot of high-scoring games, but not goals were pretty goals, if you would say. You know, it was all a lot of rebounds, just shooting on net, you know. Uh, they utilized the, the game tactics a lot. Yeah, and I think if... Uh, if I'm Lethbridge too, yeah, I want to be doing those L twos and everything like that because, yeah, I, I want to try to draw a penalty here against them. Yeah, mm. you you want to get them on their heels any way you can. Oh, there's Erie two Going one now. Two, one, yeah. yeah. Oh ho! I guess you're right when you say you got to go with who you trust. Mary's goalie. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do I, at that point? Just <laughs> oh. yeah, if they made one extra pass, they might have uh, made. I think the Weekings games have been more interesting though, just because the team that wins this is, you know, they got a hard opponent ahead. Of... No, both of them. Both of these. I mean, whoever wins in these games is is going to face a really good team. It's either yeah, Brandon or Lethbridge facing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, that's... Nope. It's happening right now, yeah, I see. There, there it goes. Yep, 48 Push. seconds left. That's That's got to be... That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Not over yet. No, it's not over. It's not but over, but I, uh, I know personally you know the feeling of that right there. Yeah. Exactly that, except mine was uh, a minute and a half, and they scored. Yeah. I believe just Both about teams taking time out to can feel that feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say at that point a game's over. Same, but it looks like it's good. You have to bounce back now. <laughs> Take it now. Now it's going to be Silver Tips. That's yep. They play the Silver Tips for the WHL title. If they hold on here, got thirty seconds left. Left bridge. Oh. Gotta shoot something. Oh, big tip shot. Goalie sliding. Oh, that almost trickled in. Ooh. Yeah. Icing. Twenty seconds left. a critical face-off. Hopefully the guys who are streaming in this game a moment yeah. up the, for us to it was kind of happen so know who to... Yeah, it looks uh, looks to be over here. I think uh, one of the issues is that they didn't shoot good enough. And the shoot. <laughs> Yeah, they made the they made, they oh, made yeah, the yeah. mistakes and Brandon scored on both of them. That's, that's, that's what Brandon that's also. how game seven goes. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's so? Out there. Fight. Looks like Saginaw is going to be uh, on the ropes here, down three one. Yep. So I was just making that a little bit bigger on the stream here as we finish up. 
Yep. Erie's shutting me up right now. I'm eating some uh, nice humble yeah, pie too. on my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've been wrong before. Hey, second, I was a, away. That's an understatement there, bro. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, when it comes to this kind of game, I'm always going to take the defensive team over the offensive one. And even though, I, and that's not a, a diss on Saginaw's defense either. They're a very good defensive team too. Yeah. Yeah, but the way that Erie, uh, I, that came in and spoke talk out. He talks so highly of his defense and his goalies, and uh, mm -hmm. you know he's really showing that that can prevail in any situation. You know, you can always fall back on that. Keep you in games you shouldn't. You have no upset in teams. Yeah, they were close. Yep. Sucks for Saginaw too, because I, I was a I was a member of Saginaw for about two hours before they flipped me at the trade deadline or close to. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, rooting for them a little bit because of that as well. Never though, though. I mean, we got thirty seconds. A two-one-one here. Force it can't finish. Yeah, it's this eerie there in the right spot, facing pass. the right way. Yep. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be Erie versus Niagara. Going back to those um, line matchups we were looking at, I believe Saginaw was uh, favored in every category besides goalie over uh, Erie. Yeah, I mean, 25 shots. You can't be giving that many shots up in a game, right. especially a game seven. Yeah, and even if it's – yeah, they are being beat on the time on attack, but yeah. It doesn't matter how, how good your goalie is. You know, it's EA. Bounces are going to happen. Yep. Kind of an analytical thing to look at, too, is not, like, combine the shots with the uh, time on attack. Like, Erie Otter is getting five shots a minute, where mm. uh, Saginaw is averaging two shots a minute of time on attack. Kind of shows, you know, that Erie Otter is feeling themselves. They're getting it. And when they, they're getting in and they're getting in and they're uh, putting up shots quick, you know, yep. a lot quicker than Saginaw is. Even though Saginaw clearly had the uh, time on attack in their favor. Well, when you think about it, too, when we came into uh, oh. the game, you know, we were talking about, or what well, Saginaw was saying, they want to get you know, shots on net and they want to you know get those rebounds and everything like that. And it's, it's definitely Erie who's probably taking that game to them. Right. Well, it's going to be Erie and it's going to be the Weekings moving on. Yeah, so let me pull that. And up you had here real both quick. of those teams getting eliminated, but you know that's that's cool too. I, uh... Yeah, so that gives us our conference finals yeah. then at this point. I decided it was the Wii Kings probably would have won, but I really hoped that the Hurricanes would have, you know, did me a solid, but I guess not. Yeah, and the Weekings Kings already got their score in their in our updated standings there. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't waste any yeah, time. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, because it's our conference finals. We got uh, so the Erie, the last one to just win, will be taking on the Ice Dogs for the OHL title. Uh, well, the Silver Tips and the Wheat Kings. A couple of basically AHL squads going against each other there. You know what's uh, crazy as well? Just want to uh, button really quick. Hurricanes had four shots in that game seven. Four. That's it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, they definitely caught the smoke on the defense. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, the other games that were already set. I uh, got the uh, Huskies facing Gatineau for the uh, the Q title. You know, two uh, two teams that have uh, have defied the odds over there in the Q. And and lastly, we got Wichita coming back to defend their title in the ECHL, taking on Idaho, your squad, Ginger. So. Yep. And something else to say is that like Lethbridge scored on the power play, and I I don't know if we can check how many shots they had on the power play, but that just means five on five they got work. Shots yeah, I don't think we game. can check power play shots on this on the site right now. No, that's got to be rough. Yeah, we gonna make some predictions for the. I'm happy to I mean, throw them out I'm there if you guys would like to. 
Uh, Ginger should probably abstain from his own series. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll call it though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go first real quick. I, I say Thunder and four. Uh, then I've got to say uh, I've got Silver Tips in six. They've got a lot of really good players and projected first overall pick. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Huskies in seven, just because. I mean, it's the queue. Anything can happen. You know, these teams didn't finish too high in the standings, so I'm gonna say Huskies since they've they've beaten harder competition. And then I'm I'm gonna say I've got to go with Niagara. I mean, they're too good. They've lost one game in in, in thirteen, so. I'm going to say Niagara, and then, yeah. Um, I'll go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Brandon in six against Silver Tips. <clears throat> probably got Idaho, Wichita. That's going to be probably hey. a tight series for sure. All I'm saying is just don't say Wichita, and everything will be okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say my prediction then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, going to the okay. cube. Okay, uh, okay. I'll go with uh, the Huskies. <coughs> I'm going to have to say the Huskies, and uh, that would probably go about six games, and then I think Niagara is going to win in about five or six. Pretty easy series for them. But yeah. Erie showed that. Uh, but that Erie defense, uh, that would be a good battle. I know Niagara is a very stout defensive team as well. So Yeah, uh, they – Gave up the fewest goals in the in the CHL this season. So yeah, their defense is just outplaying the other person's offense with their offense. So they they're never in their defensive zone, basically. Yeah, is how I yeah. look at it. That is true. I um, on my predictions, I'm gonna go ahead and say Niagara Ice Dogs in four. Got no Olympics in five. Quick series. Uh, I, you know, I say Thunder in five. In five? Uh, yeah, in five. I, I believe you guys have enough to uh, at least come over one win against that, that, that team. My Absolutely opinion. Uh, now for the WHL, <laughs> as much as I would like to kind of, you know, support my division, I would have to, you know, still think Silver Tips is going to come on on top. And I don't think it's going to go to game seven. I think it's going to be a five or six. Yeah, that's the, so. Right. Silver tips, thunder, Olympics, Niagara stocks. All right, and I'll follow back through that way. Uh, say silver tips in five. I think it's going to be a pretty quick series. I could be wrong, but that's where I'm leaning right now. Uh, say Idaho in six. I think Wichita is punching above their weight class right now. And I, I think the, the run ends for them. Uh, but on the other side, I think the Huskies run continues. I say Huskies in six. And I think I think Erie's going to be able to steal a couple. Um, you know, maybe, with their, um, maybe with one of the matchups there. So I'm going to say uh, the Ice Dogs in six. Ice Dogs in six. So you think Erie's going to win two games? I think they're going to find a way to, to hold them off in two games and sneak a couple close ones. I know they've beaten them in the regular season. So I think they have a shot at it, but I don't see them winning four games. Yeah, yeah I see uh, I see Niagara third line in Erie's first line and then just winning four straight from there on. Yeah. Playing first against second against third. Fair enough. All right. Well, thank you guys uh, for for joining me today. I'll comment on all these games. I hope everybody out there enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, you know, if there are more game sevens, then uh, we'll see what we can do about keeping them going in the broadcast. So, thanks everybody. And uh, I don't beautiful. Want to thank you, thank you guys for watching. Uh, all right. Thanks you guys. <laughs> Bye,